So Bill Craig, I regard as an extraordinary scholar. He has this, you know, sort of distinction of tackling what I regard, and I teach metaphysics, what I regard as one of the more difficult topics within metaphysics and has really sort of set the bar in that area for philosophy, you know, in any venue, secular, Christian, his, his work, God, Time, and Eternity, is really an extraordinary work. I first met Bill as a freshman when he came to Wheaton in 1967 and uh, had heard about him as a debater at East Peoria High School and was so glad that he decided uh, to come out for debate and uh, he took my course in argumentation and debate and uh, the rest is history. I remember Bill when I was a student at Wheaton when he was on the platform of Edmund in the midst of what I believe was a debate. And I remember just how comfortable he was, how he would explain things so easily. I remember him as being a, unusually gifted, a unique talent, and just wondered how is God gonna use him in the years ahead? Early on in his competitions, Bill would always give some indication of his personal faith. And so invariably, he would in some way give evidence of his commitment to Christ and of his integration of faith and learning. You can't help but be in awe when you see the breadth of this man's ministry supported by his dear wife. She's in Europe one week and he'll be flying to Asia the next month. And the fact that he's so articulate to go up against the leading atheists in the entire world and hold his own. The way that he is able to reach out to such a diverse audience. As you may know, Bill is writing children's books. And on the other hand, he is talking to the highest level of academia. You earn the right to speak by your excellence. And he's done so all over the world in various venues. And I've noted that he's done so with an ironic spirit, in a comfortable manner, explaining and discussing his absolute foundational trust in God and the light of his life, Jesus Christ. Really, he is the only one who has been able to do what he's done. And this, is, this has been of great service uh, to philosophy more generally, but the, the kingdom uh, and Christian philosophy in particular. It is philosophy at the highest level, philosophy for which there is the greatest respect Bill walks on the stage and, you know, almost invariably, irrespective of who he is debating, he's polite, he's respectful, he engages arguments, and, you know, he does so in a way that uh, the audience almost always and almost to the person walks away thinking, you know, I'm not sure I'm going to change my views, but I'm going to say that Bill Craig won this debate. And um, he has, so he has used philosophy, reason more generally in the service of God in a way that's just really been uh, remarkable and it's an extraordinary contribution.